Uh, welcome class. Uh, can you all take out your books so that we can do the mental test? It's only seven to ten minutes. The time constraint is just this learners to, to be quicker and because there is a problem uh, regarding multiplication, addition and subtraction. So we take it learners can do that in a given time. Perfect. That's perfect. And everybody stop writing. Now we're going to mark it. And everybody is going to mark his own book. Yeah, once the mental math has been finished, uh, I let learners to check their own books. So I want to check if learners, they can be, you know, loyal to themselves. 190, you subtract 200. 690. That's correct. It's going to be 690. It's going to be 690. And then the third one is 2,000, you subtract 250. 1,750. We did uh, our lesson with the, the fraction circles. Learners, they learn when they deal with uh, concrete things. Can you pick a fraction of? Pick it with your friend then. How many are they? There are two of them. Right, who can tell me when you put them, those two pieces together, what do they form? They form one circle. Correct. So a mathematical term for that circle, for that one, what do you call it? You can tell me. They form a whole. It's one whole. What we realize is that those two pieces, it is half plus what? Half. And those pieces, yeah, it's, it's so easy when you fit them together and then you can see which one is bigger when comparing them. Right, and tell me, what is the fraction is that? One third. That is one third. And then you can pick another orange. How many thirds or thirds are we gonna are we gonna have? Two thirds. Correct, that's gonna be two thirds. Right now, let's put the last part and tell me how many thirds are we gonna have? We have three thirds. Correct. We, we move on to adding fraction firstly with uh, same denominator. When adding fractions with the same denominators, we do what simply? You can check the denominators. If they're the same, you add the numerators. Okay? Do you understand? Yes. And then we move on again, whereby learners were adding fractions with different denominators. Fraction half. Let's pick another fraction, a quarter. Put them together and check. What is the fraction that you're going to get? Three quarters. Yes, that's brilliant. It's going to be three quarters. Your half has got how many quarters? Two quarters. It's correct, it's got two quarters. So if it has two quarters plus another quarter, then it's going to mix three quarters. Meaning that this is going to be... We move on to correct. adding fractions with different denominators where they're supposed to find the, the LCM. Two fractions is half plus a, a quarter. What are we supposed to do then? We look for the LCM. Tell me, what does LCM stand for? It stands for lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple of what? Two and four. You write two and write four, okay? So the multiple of two, quickly. Two, four, uh -huh. six, eight. And then the multiple of four? Four, eight, twelve. What are we looking for actually? The number that is going to be there? Lowest. Is two the lowest multiple of two and four? No. And then four? Yes. yes. Four is the lowest and common. You can write it away here. Okay? Yes. Then after that, guys, I'm going to show you some different methods whereby you can solve this problem. You look at your denominator. Our denominator age is two. Then you're going to look at the number that when you multiply it by 2 is going to give you 4. Then that number is going to be? Two. That number is going to be 2. So then now, we cannot multiply only the denominator. We must supposed to multiply the numerator and the denominator. By what? By 2 and by 2. Then now you add. It's a quarter, then you multiply. You're going to look at the number that when you multiply it by, going to give you 4. What's going to be that number? 1. And therefore, 
we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator. Yes. One multiplied by two is going to give us? Two. Two multiplied by two is going to give us? Four. And then you add. And then this sign, it is one. You multiply together with one is going to give us? One. Four, you multiply it with one is going to give us? Four. We smile because now the denominators are the same. If the denominators are the same, we can be able to add the numerators. And therefore, we can tell me what's going to be the, our answer? 3 over 4. It is 3 quarter. Yeah, because Lena has got different levels of understanding, and then that's why I've used a different method, so that learners can decide on which method they feel comfortable with. Draw a line. So that LCM that you got, you put it under the line. In this method, we're going to divide and multiply. Yeah. Two into four goes how many times? Two times. And then that two, you multiplied it with a numerator. And then our numerator is? One. You're going to say that two, you multiplied it by one, is going to be, the answer is going to be? Two. Then you write it on top of that line. Four into four goes how many times? One time. One time, so once, I get? Yeah. And then that one, you multiplied it with a? Numerator. And then our numerator is? Our numerator is 1. Then, therefore, our answer is going to be? 1. We're going to add 2 plus 1. Then our answer is going to be? 3 quarters. We have used different methods, methods, but our answer is the same. It's up to you. You decide which method is okay. We move on to adding mixed fraction, which was the most difficult part. Can you identify the two whole numbers? Then you're going to end. What are you left with now? Fraction. Can you give me those two fractions? 3 over 4 and 1 over 4. Inside the brackets, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to add. Correct. You're supposed to add 5 and 2, which is going to give us 7. 3 quarters plus 1 quarter. 4 quarters. Right. Our final answer is going to be? 8. So then now let's look at a different example. And then the last problem, um, I started it, but I didn't finish. And I let one learner from that last to finish it because it's much better if learner teach, teaches another learner. It boosts learners' confidence and their moral and their participation in a class. If you ask them to do something for themselves, especially in front, and you know they did well in that in that one, and then they were assisting each other. We wrapped up the lesson with a, a short class work, checking an individual learner if he has mastered the content. This gives me a chance to assist. 4 into 12 goes how many times? Yeah. The working pairs. And then if the other one is struggling, the other one is okay, then she or he can help his peers. It was an effective way teaching learners moving from concrete to abstract. And learners who were shy, they were, they were participating. You know.